welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the title I got me a new laptop it is 2022 and I got a new phone I got the 13 Pro Max I got a newer Apple watch and um, one of the things on my list was to get a new laptop the one that I did have was the MacBook Air 13 inch I still have it um, but I needed something with more storage because of my YouTube videos. I get a pop-up every time saying manage more disk space. And I got an external hard drive, but it was still giving me issues. And that's a 2017, so personally, I just think it was time for me to get a newer one. And I originally wanted the MacBook with the touch bar, the MacBook Pro. But um, I'm going to get into the differences, but I got the one after that, the 2021 MacBook Pro. So let's just get into this unboxing. So I got mine from Best Buy. So it's already out of like the cardboard box. Ooh, she's pretty, y'all. She is pretty. And I got mine in the space gray color. Let me bring y'all closer. Ooh. So it has like this little piece right here. Can y'all see? yes and as y'all can see i did get the 14 inch with 16 gigabyte and unified memory and 512 gigabyte ssd Okay, so getting into what comes in the box, I'm guessing this is just like a, yeah, this is just a manual with instructions. Then they give you a block to put in, you know, the outlet, and then this, I'm assuming, is the power cord. And as you can see, it has this port and then the power charger one that the old laptops used to come with on this side. And you can also charge it with this side, which is pretty cool. You can switch that. And yeah, that's the box. Okay, so it has this paper. Ooh! MacBook Pro. It's so sleek and pretty. Okay, so let's turn it over. Ooh! Oh my gosh. It just turned on automatically. Okay, I'm gonna move this paper. Oh my goodness. And as you guys can see, it doesn't have the touch bar, but it looks like it still has touch ID for your fingers, which is nice. Ooh, so excited. Period. And the keyboard is like um, kind of 3D, but as you can see, it has like the do not disturb buttons all the other features that the other one has just without the touch bar it's the space gray color which i really like and it does it's not as heavy as i thought it would be for as thick as it is okay let's get into setting it up so first thing is language which yes we want english okay country u.s Um, for accessibility, I'm probably just going to click not now. Okay, guys, so I'm just getting my Wi-Fi password so I can set it up. Ooh, I like the way the keyboard feels. And I'm probably going to get um, a keyboard, like, cover and a case just because... From the past, I feel like that protects, like, what, if you have, like, grease on your fingers or just anything, it can protect your keyboard. And this was not cheap, honey, and this is the newest, so I want it to last long. Um, and what's really cool about Best Buy is, say, in the future, like, three or four years from now, and there's a newer computer, I can trade this in to get value and credit from it. So I want to just, you know, keep it in good condition. Okay, so now it's just on to data and privacy. 
If you have information on another Mac or Windows PC, you can transfer it to this Mac. You can also transfer information from a time machine backup or another startup disk. How do you want to transfer your information? From a Mac? Okay. Okay, so now it's on to sign in with your Apple ID. I'm just going to do that really quick. Okay, and it's sending me a verification code to get me in there. It worked, it worked. Okay, and now it's just terms and conditions. I have read to iCloud terms and conditions, clicking agree. Okay, so now I'm just creating my computer account, which if you guys just want to see what that looks like. It is like this, create a computer account, I want your name, and then I just have to do my password and everything. I highly recommend to do like the hint, just in case you never know, um, because sometimes it'll be a while before you forget your password, and then, you know, you just don't want that. So, let's see. Okay, so I definitely recommend when you're setting up your Mac to make sure you have time, um, like you don't have any deadlines or something because it does take some time. Like each thing that I'm doing, you know, it's loading. And I think Best Buy can do it for you, but when I asked them to transfer from my old Mac to my new Mac, they said that it would be 48 hours. And I'm like, who can go 48 hours without their laptop when they're in school? Not I. Uh, I could use my little brother's, but... I just prefer to have my own so I may go back on like a weekend or I might just figure out how to do it myself since I kept mine because the credit that they were going to give me for that was $150 negatory. So right now it's just on iCloud and it says setting up account. Okay y'all so this is saying make this your new Mac. So it says here's everything set up as you had it on your iPhone um, which is really cool because it had me type in my iPhone password. Uh, screen time on, appearance, dark, um, series on, app analytics off, device analytics on, and location services on. Ooh, I like the dark mode. Okay. So as you can see now, it's just loading over here. File Vault disk. Would you like to use File Vault to encrypt the disk on your Mac? It already has it selected, so honestly, I'm just going to keep that. Touch ID. Okay, so now we're activating Touch ID. This is so cool. So you just keep going to capture every angle and it says Touch ID is ready. So the fingerprint can be used to unlock the Mac. Uh, I don't really use Apple Pay, so we're just gonna click continue. Alright, you guys, and we are in. And as you can see, I have the dark mode, so I'm not sure if that is affecting anything, but. Okay, I'm just gonna click allow for my location, and then I'm gonna go to system preferences and go to general just because I like for my accent color to be pink sidebar icon size medium default web browser I mean I guess that's fine oh yeah see guys how it made everything pink that is fire let's see I want google chrome so let's see how does that work okay so I have to download google chrome do that really quick. Download. Ugh, I love how fast everything is. Yay! I have Google Chrome, guys. Okay, so the last thing I want to do to set it up 
is my wallpaper because I know they have a really nice one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the lighter one better. Let's see how it's looking. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so lastly, just to show you guys, these are what the ports look like on the Mac, the newest MacBook Pro. Has that power cord I was telling you about or the other option. Don't know what these are called. I'm so sorry. But this is for your headphones, which the other one didn't have. And then it has the SD card, which honestly sold me to get the newer one without the touch bar because with YouTube, um, I really want to be able to just put it right in rather than having to pay $50 for an adapter piece. And it has this and then HDMI. So it doesn't have a USB port, but I don't really use that on my computer. Oh, and then another thing the guy told me was that this is new on this one because it mimics like an iPhone. Um, for example, like see how the iPhones have that so that's pretty cool but yes she's so cute I'm so happy so it's been a few days later I'm editing the video and I thought to show you guys the things that I've learned that it can do um, since I've been playing around with it so right here you have a control center and this will tell you your Wi-Fi Bluetooth you can brighten your screen here or turn it up which you could also do on your keyboard which is cool um, and then focus, say you choose focus, you can click on this and put do not disturb, um, or you have more preferences where you could put like work and then put a time limit for that. And then something that's really cool is that if you have to like jot down something really quick, if you go to the bottom right corner, this little notepad will show up and then you can type your notes. Cause you know how sometimes teachers be going real quick, you could just boom, 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 and then it'll add it to your notepad, which is, sorry for the background noise, which is really cool. And then if you click this, it'll give you Siri right away. Or you can just say, hey, Siri, or click the Siri button over here. And then another cool thing that my old laptop didn't have, so this was dope to me, was that this has Apple Music. So I just logged into mine, and if I were to play a song, then... I can just play song while doing my schoolwork or whatever and then this little play button up here is really dope because if you click it like say i was watching youtube or then apple music you can get to it really quickly but yeah it's just very convenient like every app that i have on my phone i can put on my computer and then another thing if i'm like on my phone it'll pop up down here like a little thing with the, the phone and then if I click that, whatever was displaying on my phone will display on my computer. So if I was sending an email, I could just click it and then it would pull up my email, which is really cool. But you have stickies. And then another cool thing that I'll show you guys, I have um, my textbooks for class I did on Kindle. So I downloaded the Kindle app on here to see if I could do it. And rather than going to the browser, I can just literally pull up my textbooks right here. And I just feel like that is so convenient. So I'm just loving everything that I'm learning about it. It's super convenient. It has a lot of storage space. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and show you guys some features that I learned about it. Now, honestly, guys, it's an investment. You're investing in yourself. You know, I'm in school. I'm getting ready to graduate, start a job. And with YouTube, I really enjoy doing it. I'm passionate about it. And with this being the first week of classes, I thought it'd be the perfect time to get myself a new laptop. So I'm really excited. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and letting me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.